coming to first class oxidor reductase in oxidor reductase again we have six sub classes okay here we have seven classes total enzymes iubmb class with total enzymes into seven major classes again in first react first class oxidor reductase we have six sub classes okay that is seven this is six under first class six sub classes first one dehydrogenase dehydrogenase d removing of hydrogen atom removing minus means removal okay minus removal of hydrogen atom oxidase okay you all know about oxidase and reductase what is meant by what is the difference between oxidase and reductase oxidase is removal of hydrogen reductase means addition of hydrogen okay oxidase means removal of hydrogen or electron reductase means addition of hydrogen this is the difference between these two then what is the difference between dehydrogenase and oxidase dehydrogenase both are removal of hydrogen then what is the difference this is very important you should remember this both removal of hydrogen but here this hydrogen is added to the oxygen atom then only it is called as oxidase if not it is dehydrogenase this hydrogen is removed and it is added to some other molecule like most commonly b complex vitamin okay b complex vitamin here it is oxygen that is the difference between these two oxygenase oxygen is going to added okay what is the difference between oxy oxidase and oxygenase okay both look similar then what is the difference oxygenase oxygen adding oxygen molecule only it may be mono single oxygen or di double atom oxidase removal of hydrogen or electron not adding of oxygen adding of oxygen is called oxygenase okay coming to peroxidase okay there are no some important points just remember the name coming to catalase if you hear the name of this catalase it is looking somewhat odd than this all for example dehydrogenase oxidase oxygenase peroxidase reductase okay when compare with this all this is looking somewhat odd name catalase okay so uh, you should you will confuse while giving options this but this catalase also comes under oxidor reductase only even though it is looking somewhat odd from comparing to remaining so remember that catalase is also oxidor reductase that's why i'm stressing more catalase what is the function of catalase scavenges the h2o2 hydrogen peroxide in peroxide in peroxisomes a cell organelle reductase i already told you what is the difference between oxidase and reductase removal of hydrogen acceptor is oxygen addition of hydrogen but here nadp is required you should remember this okay i have put a tick mark for you should remember that okay oxygen you should remember this here acceptor is oxygen here nadph is required in nadph we have h molecule see okay this h is added to the substrate so in the form of nadph we will add the hydrogen into the substrate here oxygen okay coming to the first subclass of first class oxidor reductase it is dehydrogenase okay what is meant by dehydrogenase removal of hydrogen from one substrate to another substrate here acceptor is b complex vitamin example example we have nad converting into nadh okay this nadh here in the reaction the hydrogen is from one substrate to transfer to another substrate okay the acceptor is nad nadh here in the same way in the second reaction fad fad is converted into fadh2 here acceptor is fad so when hydrogen is removed from the main substrate it is it is added to three main substances nadh fadh2 and nadph we will discuss it later when coming to nad2 nadh this is the most common mc means most common reaction okay example glutamate glutamate is converting into alpha keto glutarate enzyme is glutamate dehydrogenase okay glutamate dehydrogenase so this comes under first class in this way you need not remember any name of enzymes from the mechanism of the enzymes from the definition of enzyme you can directly write the name 
as in the reaction you can observe removal of hydrogen from one substrate to another substrate here in glutamate the hydrogen is removed and added to nad so nad is converted into nadh okay so this enzyme is called as first write a substrate name glutamate it is remove the hydrogen so it is called dehydrogenase glutamate dehydrogenase okay the same glutamate also have another reaction it converts into glutamine in glutamine here atp is used and nh3 is added here nh3 is removed here nh3 is added these are two common reactions that's why i added this reaction here but this reaction doesn't comes under first class as these both are common reactions because the same glutamate is uh, actually participating in the two reactions i have included this reaction also actually this reaction is comes under sixth which is ligases i will explain about this later but just remember here okay i'll remind you later glutamate is been converted into alpha keto glutarate then the nad is converted into nadh by seeing this nadh you can tell that dehydrogenase but when atp is added that reaction is not dehydrogenase that comes under synthetase because in synthetase we need require atp as i told you before in ligase for adding to join i told you we need atp so atp is added here so that is comes under synthetase it is sixth class okay we'll discuss about this in detail later coming to fad fad is coming to converting into fadh2 same like nadh2 but few not more common like nadh nadh is more common okay for example coming to tca cycle krebs cycle you all know very well krebs cycle in this krebs cycle is taking place in mitochondria the whole krebs cycle we know that succinate is converted to fumarate while converting fad is converted into fadh2 you can see the green marks here see green marks mean fadh2 hydrogen is removed from fumarate from succinate to fad it transferred so fad is 2 so dehydrogenase succinate dehydrogenase substrate is succinate so succinate dehydrogenase i hope you understood how we name the enzymes okay first you should write the substrate name then according to the definition definition of the enzyme we know that removal of hydrogen so here see in the green removal of hydrogen so hydrogenase in this way we are naming enzymes okay another example you are going this is beta oxidation in lipid metabolism we have beta oxidation very important reaction in this you can see this acyl coa acyl coa is converted into trans enoyl coa this is later converted into acetyl coa because these are ketone bodies okay in this reaction what is happening same fadh2 these two are examples of fad reactions that is the reason we have got both fadh2 same way acetyl coa acyl coa acyl coa it is dehydrogenase enzyme so dehydrogenase okay coming to the third reaction already nadh is completed fadh2 is completed now nadph okay not nadh nadph in this we have examples first two reactions of hmp pathway hmp pathway is coming in carbohydrate metabolism here glucose 6 phosphate is converted into 6 phosphate gluconolactone okay you can just remember while reading the metabolism now you just see the naming of enzyme here the enzyme is glucose 6 phosphate substrate name glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase in the green color you can see dehydrogenase means removal of hydrogen see hydrogen is removed removal of hydrogen from glucose 6 phosphate one hydrogen is removed and added to nadp so it is be became nadph so the enzyme name is 6 gp dehydrogenase okay another second reaction hmp pathway you can refer while reading the metabolism another example cytoplasmic isocitrate dehydrogenase okay uh, then another example is malic enzyme such as malate dehydrogenase these, these all are dehydrogenase but in it will come under reaction of nadph nadp converting to nadph these three examples you will get there okay first two reactions of hmp pathway first example second example and third example this in these two examples i didn't mention any pathway here okay this is bit controversial okay you all know isocitrate dehydrogenase and malate dehydrogenase 
one check in your test books it is coming under few pathways but i didn't mention because of small controversy i will tell you later okay you just message me if you know the answer